Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing an alkaline inspired recipe. This is going to be an alkaline take on Reese's Cups. So I'm going to go ahead and line my cupcake pans with some sheets. And I'm also going to be taking about a cup's worth of medjool dates. And I'm going to be soaking them along with about a cup or so of walnuts. Now, if you have time, you can soak these overnight, but I didn't have that much time, so I chose to soak them in some hot water for about 10 to 20 minutes. Now we can begin constructing our cup. I'll take two cups of tahini and pour it into the blender. We'll add two tablespoons of agave or honey, as well as two third cups of coconut oil. It's best you use organic or the highest quality you can get. And then we'll blend it all together. As our mixture is blending, I'll go ahead and pit my dates. It's very important that we take these seeds out because we don't want the seeds to be blended up. Once your tahini mixture has blended, you can go ahead and pour one tablespoon into each of the cupcake liners. We'll place those into the freezer to harden and begin our date filling. In the blender, we'll put our pitted dates, about five tablespoons of water to help blend, and date syrup, which is optional. I just wanted to play around with it. The date syrup is Galilee's if you're interested. We'll go ahead and blend that all up and it may take a little bit, but it should end up looking something like this. This is where the water comes in handy to help blend. After about 30 minutes or so, the first layer should be dry. Here we can begin to fill them up with our date filling. Now you can keep them as just dates on the inside and top it off with some more of the tahini mixture or you can let your imagination run a little bit wild. Here's what they look like with just the date filling. And I'll go ahead and pour some tahini mixture over some of them because I did want to keep some of them as plain. However, after this, this is where I ended up getting a little bit more creative and making these tahini cups a little bit more of my style. On the ones I did leave plain, I did use the spoon to pat down the date filling just a little bit, just because I wanted them to dry a little bit more evenly. After that, I chose to add some walnuts to some. I also added some chocolate coconut peanut butter to other ones that had just the date filling as sort of like a take on peanut butter and jelly. Once you're done filling them, you can go ahead and take a tablespoon or two of the tahini mixture and top them off. There, you can go ahead and freeze them and they're ready to eat. Or, if you'd like, like I did, I chose to make a chocolate drizzle to put on top of my tahini cups. I didn't put them on all, but it was a really nice touch. I also went ahead and added some hemp seeds for some extra protein. Here's an up-close look of what they look like when they're completed. These tahini cups are super versatile and you can really fill them up with whatever you'd like. Go ahead and let your imagination run free. That's what cooking's all about. Now you gotta have a taste test after you make a new recipe, right? These are thick. Get ready to hear a crunch. Oh. Mm. These are thick. Oh. Oh, this is good.